the world is experiencing extreme weather events due to climate change. Especially in India, they're experiencing right now heat waves where people are dying because of uh, high temperatures, which are above 50 degrees Celsius, and they are dying from heat stroke. Especially in the summer of 2024, although the temperatures have been rising in India since 2022, as shown by some of the headlines in some of the media in the world, and uh, from 2022, the temperature has continuously been increasing in India, especially during summer times. And from 2022, people have also been dying from uh, from these heat strokes uh, because of these extreme weather events. And uh, we can see here in the in the headlines that uh, the temperatures are really really high. Actually, what is being reported is 52.9 degrees Celsius, and all this is being attributed to uh, climate change. The other weather events, uh, extreme weather events, uh, apart from heat waves, we have flooding. We also have um, droughts because our, after flooding, you usually have droughts. So, in, especially in East Africa, there was a lot of rains in April, April and May, which brought about uh, flooding and also and also even cyclones were there. There were mudslides, there were landslides, which affected many people in East Africa. In Kenya, especially, there were also some deaths which were reported from uh, from these uh, flooding. And you find that uh, climate change, apart from the flooding and heat waves and uh, droughts, we also have other extreme events like rising uh, sea levels. We also have other extreme events like um, forest fires and all that. And all these disasters usually bring deaths as the, they come, they, they, are, they are disasters actually. So when they come, these extreme weather events, they, can, they even cause death because they even destroy the infrastructure, they, they destroy the homes of people, the schools, and other places where people are residing. So and also they can also bring um, relocation of people, people can be displaced. And even when the droughts come, there is no food. So we find that there is even food insecurity because of the climate change events, uh, extreme events. Uh, because when it rains heavily, it can even carry the, the, the crops which are in the field. And when it dries up, there is no water for, for irrigation, for domestic use, or even for animals. So we find that uh, climate change can affect uh, communities adversely, especially when these extreme weather events are recorded and uh, they usually follow each other when we have uh, floods they are usually followed by pro prolonged droughts where there is um, there are no rainfall see you next time